Rolling onto the tarmac next is an aircraft that you almost never see at British air shows. It only appears at the major ones like the Royal International Air Tattoo and the Farnborough Air Show. It comes from the far east of Europe and is known for its extreme maneuverability and of course, the Cobra Maneuver. Some of you probably already know what I'm talking about, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce the Su-27 P-1M from the 831st Brigade of the Ukrainian Air Force. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and as we continue our day here at the Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre Air Show, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our next demonstration aircraft, which is the Ukrainian Su-27 P-1M. Now today's aircraft comes from the 831st Tactical Aviation Brigade in Mirhorod and we are looking forward to putting on a display for you to hopefully enjoy today. So as the pilot taxis out onto the runway, you see that air brake retract. He's going to be doing a quick control check just to make sure everything is good before the display begins. The SU-27 of course, powered by Saturn AL31 turbofan engines. Providing over 16,000 pounds of thrust dry and over 27,000 with afterburner engaged. Which is a, what we're about to see here. As he runs up those engines and engages the reheat, he's going to begin the takeoff roll and start the demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, the SU-27 Ukrainian Air Force. As the pilot begins his routine with a little wing wave, going up into the sky with those engines in full reheat, as I said, providing over 27,000 pounds of thrust. Out of the loop into a reposition on show centre, pointing those engines towards us for the 360 degree flare and roll. And then up into the vertical once again for the pilot's first snapshot manoeuvre. Covering the aircraft then, the pilot is going to position the aircraft once again on show centre, preparing for another snapshot manoeuvre. This time, it will continue with a flat spin. Afterburners ablaze once again. Up into the vertical, here we go again for the second snapshot. As the SU-27 begins to fall in the flat spin before the pilot will begin to recover that aircraft. Engaging the afterburners once again as the pilot will now perform a figure of eight turn. Now the SU-27 had its first flight on the 20th of May 1977 before it was introduced into service in June 1985. So this aircraft has been around for a long time. But unfortunately in the Western world we don't always get the opportunity to see this magnificent aircraft and it's thanks to the Ukrainian Air Force for displaying it so regularly at the Royal International Air Tattoo here in the United Kingdom. Coming up 
jumping over the top then, showing the agility of such a large fighter. Into the Cobra. A maneuver that stunned Western viewers at the Paris Air Show when it was first shown and displayed to the public. Sound of those beautiful AL31 engine engines? <laughs> Please forgive me, engines re-engaging with the afterburner there. Now the SU-27 was the first aircraft built in the Soviet era with a fly-by-wire control system which allows a lot of these manoeuvres to take place. However, to push this aircraft to the extreme edges of its flight envelope, it's a system that must be disengaged. So as the pilot repositions his aircraft from show right, we're about to see the SU-27 in the inverted pass. Rolling over then. Give the pilot a wave as he comes back from show right. Double aileron rolls and a quick blast of the afterburners. A little bit of pleasure for our ears. to idle and the aircraft will just begin to fall backwards once again with flares. gear being deployed and the air brake coming out. Coming once again from show right, this is the dirty high alpha pass, where the pilot will hold the aircraft at a stalling speed or just above stalling speed, maintaining that high angle of attack pass with precise throttle movements. Another opportunity to get your camera out and take some fantastic photos of this beautiful SU-27 aircraft here today in striking digital camouflage livery. Now this livery is applied to all aircraft who go through the upgrade process, which is what turns an SU-27 into an SU-27P1M. Here he comes then from the right, it's the SU-27. High Alpha Dirty Pass. Your break retracted after burners engaged. And it's a dirty roll. Oh, my God. 
the reverse snapshot then. Once again, recovering the aircraft. Once again, showing just how agile a fighter of this size can be. Bringing it up and over the top from show center then. finale which is going to bring the demo to a close deploying all the flares to finish this display and bringing the aircraft down once again up and over the top Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, will you please put your hands together for this magnificent display from the Ukrainian SU-27 Planker. Pilot will bring it back one more time from the right. It's that last chance to take some pictures. The pilot's giving you a wing wave. Give him a wave back as he passes from show right. And a cheeky aileron roll to end things off. As the pilot repositions to the left, I would just like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you for coming to the air show today. There are some fantastic displays still to come and we've seen some amazing displays already. And on behalf of myself and the SU-27 pilot here today, it's a big thanks to you. We show our appreciation for making the journey today and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at the Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre, don't forget the centre, air show. Almost ready to touch them then, there we go. The pilot will keep the aircraft at this angle to provide some aerodynamic braking holding off that nose wheel from touching down before we see the parachutes deployed from the back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, it's a big thank you from myself and the pilot and all the team involved for putting together this day here today. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>